Facebook Instant Game. The big ass marketplace that we really haven't had access to because we don't write so much JavaScript. Um, but now Unity can do it. Unity can do it with Unity Tiny. We can push our build directly to Facebook Instant. And look at this, it's gonna be great. Okay, what we're gonna do today, we're going to take our game. I have a small, small game I've made in the past, here it is. And just with a single click like that, my game is hosted directly on Facebook. I don't have any servers anywhere, it's directed right there. I have access to my friend list in there, I have access to my Facebook profile, I have access to everything. Um, and that's the case for other people that connect as well. So if I have anyone that connect to my game, I can have access to his profile picture, I can have access to his friend list. What could go wrong? With this information, what you can do is have your friend list being shown inside of the game, ask your friend to play with you, send them GIF inside the game, um, have a leaderboard with them. And uh, there's also in-app purchases, there's also monetization in there, so you can do ads, you can do in-app purchases, and then on top of that, you can have a bot program inside of Facebook that's being run inside of Facebook that reminds people to go play your game. So it's quite a powerful uh, user acquisition tool that is basically free. We're gonna be taking our game, my game I have right here, it's inside of Unity right now, here it is. I will be taking this game from all the step to building, um, to putting it directly on Facebook Instant. Now, I'm not showing how to do the friendly stuff, I'm not showing to how to do the monetization. This is really just, you know, let's get this game on the as fast as possible. The rest is something that will require a little bit more research and I have to do it as well on my end before I show you guys. So if you're interested in having that knowledge on how to ping your friends, how to create in-app purchases inside of this platform, then make sure to subscribe and join the Discord. Uh, link is always down below. Yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so what we're doing today is very short. We'll do it in no time. However, it's very technical, so uh, you know, try to be careful and listen to what's happening. So let's have our project first. This is my Unity project. If you don't have any projects, you could use a sample project if you wish. And uh, you can also have a look on the video, the last video we've did on the channel. There's gonna be a link up there somewhere. Um, click on that, maybe build your first project. You'll have to do it in TypeScript. It's a little bit different for now, but eventually it's going to be in C Shop. So make sure you have your project, and then we're going to go ahead and build it. To build a um, Unity Tiny project, you have to find the UT project file. In my case, it's over here. And when you click on it, when you double click on it, it's going to open up the project. And then on the right hand side here in the inspector, you'll be able to change your build to release. That's very important. If you don't put it on release, it's not going to work for Facebook. Um, there's something being stripped down when you put it on release and it has to be stripped down for Facebook. So um, now let's go ahead and hit the build button. I've already done it here, but um, make sure you build. They're not going to ask you for a save location. That's very important. Instead, what's going to happen is that you might have it running the game. So um, I have a browser that just started up with the game in here and, and that's my game. It's not the best right now, but you get the point. So when you build, they don't ask you for a location because it's actually stored inside of the project folder. Now I just went around here and I've hit the show and explorer button. This shows me my project. I am under the asset folder. Make sure you go up one level to your actual project folder and you'll see a folder called tiny export. Click on that, find the name of your project in this game. Um, in this case, this game is called idle HTML5 and you'll find the release folder. Now what you see over here is not your project. Those are just like um, assemblies for your project. You have to go under the binary, so the bin and here it is, that's your project. Um, it seems quite huge right now, but that's because I've added a lot of module that I, I don't actually use. Um, but if you if I strip down everything, I can go down to 600 KB. Uh, yeah, in a zip file though. So speaking of zip file, you'll need to zip this up before you send it over to Facebook. However, you need a little bit more than that. And what you need is a Facebook app config first. So let's go ahead and grab the one I've made in the past. It's a .json file. I'll show it to you in a second. Let's just go back here and paste it. So I've added a JSON file that's gonna do a little bit of configuration on Facebook. If I show it to you, that's my JSON code. It's something very, very simple. Make sure you copy this, you save it as a JSON file instead of your folder. Now, um, it's very important you have the same exact name as well. So Facebook looks for something called Facebook app config .json. So make sure you type it the exact same way as I have here. Okay. There's a lot more settings in there. Uh, you can you can customize it to 
to your likings, I actually uh, recommend that you have a look over on the internet. You go on Google and you type in the name of the file, you'll see documentation for that, and you'll see how you can customize your game inside of the Instant Game Messenger. But we're just doing the bare minimum to get it running over there right now. Okay, now once that is completed, we'll do a first build. Um, just to let you know, this one is going to kind of work, but it's not fully going to work. But I'm still, I want to take you through this because you'll find out, um, you'll realize how the logic works behind this. So once you have all of these files, let's go ahead and zip them up. So send to a zip folder. I'll call this one first build, or I'll just call it one. Okay. And that will be our game right here. It's a thousand kilobyte right now. Now we have to host it on Facebook. So I'm going to go over here on Facebook developer. So over on Google, I typed in Facebook dev. It's the first link that pops up. Now you should be able to connect with your Facebook account. It's exactly the same account system. Um, and you'll take your personal Facebook account into, uh, you'll convert it into a Facebook developer account. It doesn't cost anything. It's free. You just have to accept the term and services. So once you have your Facebook dev account, now I can't take you through the flow because I've already done it in the past. I don't have multiple Facebook accounts, just have one. Um, you're going to go over to my apps and make sure you add a new app. Now, this is going to be the name of your instant game. In this case, let's do N3K test instant game. For my case, let's create a new app ID. Make sure we're not a robot. That's totally fine. They might be asking you for your Facebook password as well. Okay. So the first thing we'll see here is their dashboard. Um, we're looking for something. This, this is most likely going to change by the time you see the videos. It's something that changes all the time. But what we're trying to do is um, create an instant game product. So we don't want to have this. We don't want to have this. We're actually going to skip everything. And we're going to do it manually. So here it is. Now what I'm going to do is over there in product on the left hand side, we're going to add a new instant game product. If you scroll down, you'll see it. it's right here. Let's click it up. Now um, you can have a multiple thing with this app. You can create a whole marketing campaign as well. You can create a Facebook page for your Facebook game. Um, and those would be connected. So it's quite cool. Now, just like Google Play, um, you're going to have to fill in a lot of information before you can actually publish this. And they will let you know which information you have to um, to get right before you publish this. But in our case, if we just want to test this out, if we just want to get this on, on Facebook for ourselves and also the other developers in our group, we're going to go under web hosting and upload or build. So let's do upload version. And this is where we're going to drag and drop or zip file, just like this. Has a maximum size of 200 MB, which we're really far away from. Quite good. Now it says game must reference one of our support supported SDK. So that's not going to upload. I forgot about something, my bad, um, but it's not going to upload if we never reference the Facebook SDK. So here's what we have to do. We're gonna go back under the bin. We're going to delete our build. Under index, no, no, that's your index HTML file. If you click on it, it's, it's going to run locally, as you can see. Um, having that here, we're going to open it up in any text, any text editor. I'm going to open it in Sublime, and we're going to go at the end of the body over here. And at the end of the body, we're going to add the reference to their Facebook SDK for this. So Facebook Instant. Right now, we're on version 6.2. You can always look it up online um, if you go to the the uh, Facebook Instant documentation page. So here it is. That's what we need to add when we're adding it here in the body and not in the head. So we want this to be executed once everything else is uh, is loaded, basically. So having that done, we are no, now going to do another test. So send to, we'll call it one again because it has not been uploaded. And I'll put it in there once more. Upload. And then it's going to look for the Facebook package. It's scanning right now and it should be ready in a second, but it's not all. Okay. Now it's on standby. Um, if you want to actually test this out in messenger, you'll have to make sure you push this to production. Now don't be confused. It doesn't actually go, um, it doesn't actually go live. It doesn't, you know, tell your friend that you have this on your account right now. It doesn't do any of this. So just make sure you hit production and you see at the top there, if you want to have it, your if you want to have your friend see it, it's going to be at the top here. You have to press on on, um, but you'll have a lot of things to fill in before that. So 
Once it's in production, we're going to go over to settings, basic, and we're going to find our link. So Facebook web game, here is our link right here. Or is that our link? Seems like it. Let's try it out. Yep, that's our game right here. So it seems to work, but at the same time, it doesn't. So my game is running in the background. I can see my game time going up. So my game time is, is increasing one second, um, every second, basically. I got my privacy policy down there. I've got all of that working. However, can't, can't play on my game. There's this button. There's this Facebook stuff like in the middle that just blocks it. Well, that's because I never told this thing to go away. So what happened here is that your game starts. Usually you would have like a, a time where you load your assets and once your assets are loaded, then this thing would go away. So Facebook give you this loading bar. Like um, they let you have this loading bar. You don't have to create it yourself in the game. And if you do, well, it's just going to overlap with the other one. So what do you have to do now is tell Facebook, well, all our assets are loaded. We're now ready to go, all right? So to do this, I've created an additional script through my flow that I called Facebook Loader. And again, I'm going to copy this, go back in my build, and we're going to delete the build we had before. Now I've added this new file called Facebook Loader. I'm also going to add it. I'm also going to reference this under the index.html. So I'm just going to copy this one and then I'll go get my Facebook FB Loader dot JavaScript in here. Make sure you actually look for the same folder. Okay. So now this is going to boot up my Facebook loader, but what's inside of here? Well, I should have done that before. Eh? <laughs> yeah. What's inside of Facebook loader? Simple function here. Okay. So those are called back from Facebook instant, which is the, uh, the thing we included right here. And those basically look at, uh, when we're ready to initialize everything, you are going to set the loading, the loading progress to a hundred. So that's the bar you see, if we set it to 50, ain't going to work. It's waiting for it to be at a hundred. And once it reaches 100, it then triggered the start game async, which is just a game that starts. So that's going to remove the, the whole loading bar UI completely. So having these two things in here, we're just registering those two callbacks. Um, so the game is pretty much ready to be launched as soon as we press on the button. Now, um, now I've also included a comment over here because if you had to load multiple assets and you, you really wanted to make use of this um, loading bar Facebook gives you, this is where you do it. So this is where you'd have say an async uh, a wait function or a sync function that would wait for um, progress to be done in your game before you go ahead and um, fill in that bar completely. And I think that's actually all we need. Yeah, so we have our SDK, we have our loader that's going to register those two callbacks. Now let's go ahead and create a second version of this. So send to, call this one two. I'm gonna go ahead and upload this over here, web hosting. So we're going back in our web hosting tab. Our link is not going to change, our link stays the same. So we're just pushing an update basically. Now let's go ahead and put the new folder in here, that's a new project with the Facebook loader. And now if we go split screen, my game is going to remain the same simply because it's not in production just yet. I have to make sure it's done scanning. Once it's done scanning, we press on the star over here. So push to production and then automatically I'm going to refresh this and our game is running in messenger. And it takes in my click as well. I can see my click count going up. So that seems to work. Now let's give it a try on mobile, shall we? So here I am on Facebook Messenger on my phone and I'm going to click the games button, which you can find down there. It's in the bar. It's the third button in the bar. I'm opening this up and then here are the games that everybody's playing in my friend list. If I scroll down a little bit, I will see recently played. Here it is. And on the second one, you can see that's the name of my Actually, the first one is the name of my, my test. So N3K test, I'm going to click on it. Here you see the bar, it's being loaded. It's asking me for add to home screen. No, I don't want to, but thank you anyway. And here's my game. There it is running on my phone in Messenger. And that's great. Why is it great? Because with this, if you expand a little bit further, you are going to learn, well, first that you don't have to host your game. You don't have to have it on a server anywhere. 
you can just have Facebook host it for yourself. So that's always cool. And then on top of that, when you learn how to do the connection in between Unity and the JavaScript in your page, you're going to be able to communicate with the Facebook SDK, which is going to let you grab your friends or grab your user's friend and then maybe send them game requests or send them items in your game or do all that crazy stuff that's really good for acquiring users. So we've really just scrapped the surface today, but if you make something quite simple, you just want to show your mom, your mom can have this on her phone in no time. Uh, she doesn't have to download anything from Google Play. If she has Messenger, she could play it. Of course, mine is not a game. Um, not yet, at least. So I can't really do that. Um, it's also good to note that Unity themselves, um, they made the, the Unity Tiny version with ads built in. You could play ads there and make money on Facebook as well. And Facebook has their own ads if you learn how to do this, this JavaScript and the Unity connection um, that I've mentioned. They also have ads inside of instant games and also in-app purchases. So you have a, a wide range of options to monetize your game directly on Facebook and you have a good way to reach users as well. So that's always a good win-win. Um, having that said, we're just really at the beginning of this. There's going to be a lot that's going to change. First, TypeScript is going to go away. So if you made your project completely in TypeScript at one point, it will be deprecated. Kind of sucks, but we're also very happy to see C Sharp come back. And if we have a look on the left hand side here as well on the on the Facebook page, you'll see that we have also access to leaderboards review. So I've just given myself a review. They've asked me for a review automatically um, when I left my game. So I don't know if they're going to do it again. No, of course not, because I've already left one. So you're going to have review directly outside of your game um, when people click off. That's always cool. You're going to have a launch. No, wait. Yeah, you're going to have in-app purchase, leaderboard, um, ads, you know, a lot of things you can do with this. Now, um, I want to add one more thing. This is, as, as I've said, it's still brand new and people are figuring out how to use this. I've got a lot of help from the forum itself. So if I head over to Tiny Unity Forum, I want to share with you a thread that really did help me out because they have a way to automatically create the build we, we actually did. So they have a way to automatically include um, Facebook app config and that's actually all they've done. But, you know, you could push this to actually have the Facebook loader in there as well. And it's this person down here that um, actually put a nice little thing together here. So you can have this script running inside of Unity. And because of this attribute over here, the tiny post process build attribute, this code is going to be run after your project is done. So this is going to automatically um, include your JSON file. So the Facebook app JSON file. And he also add Facebook libs to HTML. So what it does is basically what we've done before. So it adds this in the folder and also goes inside the index.html, find the body tag, and then replace the body tag by this plus a closing body tag, um, which is quite cool. I didn't know it was actually possible, but with this attribute, you can run code, you can run code after your build is completed. So I really recommend you check this one out. If you want the link, it's going to be either in the description down below, or you can just have a good look at it if I forget to put the link um, down there. Um, but using this technique, I was not able to remove the, um, the loading screen inside of my game. So I had to add my Facebook loader in there as well, which you can do if you follow this thing. Yeah, that's it. That's actually it. Thank you so much guys for watching as always. Of course, we have a brand new thing on discord. It's called roles. <laughs> we had roles before, but now we made them, um, automatic. So if we head over to discord on the roles, you'll find, you'll find only one thread here. We used to have like thousands of of messages and uh, it's not, not longer like that. What we have here instead is uh, you click on that button and you get a new role. So right now I have the just looking tag and the programming. I can re remove myself programming. I can remove myself the one I just added and I'm, I'm down here. Um, I really recommend that you go ahead and grab a role because at one point we're going to shut down, not shut down, but we're going to um, restrict the server to only people who have roles. So everybody who has a role right now, they've all received the early supporter. So thank you so much guys for being a part of us. Um, but in the future, the new people that join in, you'll be only redirected to this page and you can't access anything else before you choose a role. This was done to remove a bit of spam um, in the server and hopefully it will work. So guys, again, thank you so much. Join Discord. Um, yeah, see you around. Cheers.